given question a diesel cycle operates at a pressure of 1 bar at the beginning of compression and the volume is compressed up to 1 by 15 of the initial volume heat is supplied until the volume is twice that of the clearance volume calculate the mean effective pressure of the cycle gamma is equal to 1.4 Let us understand given data with the help of pressure volume diagram of the diesel cycle. At the beginning of compression, the pressure is given. If we observe this diagram, process one to two is the compression process, and at the beginning of compression, that means at point one, pressure P one is equal to one bar. Volume compressed is equal to one by fifteenth of initial volume. So volume compressed that means volume at point two is equal to one by fifteenth of initial volume. So V two is equal to one by fifteenth V one. So we can say that V one by V two is equal to R is equal to fifteen. So R is known as the compression ratio. heat supplied until volume is equal to twice of clearance volume now process 2 to 3 is the heat supplied at constant pressure so heat is supplied until the volume this v3 will become twice of clearance volume so clearance volume is known as v2 so v2 is equal to vc so we from this statement and with the help of diagram we can say that heat supplied until the volume that means v3 is equal to twice of clearance volume twice of vc so we can say that v3 is equal to twice of v2 gamma is given 1.4 and we have to find out mean effective pressure now how to find out mean effective pressure so we have formula that is work done is equal to swept volume multiplied by mean effective pressure is equal to area under the process 2 to 3 plus area under process 3 to 4 minus area under process 1 to 2 so for that we to calculate these areas we have to first find out the pressure and volume at these points so we will first write the given data so v1 is equal to 15 v2 so from this statement we will write here v1 by v2 is equal to r is equal to 15 then v3 by v2 is equal to 2 or v3 is equal to twice of v2 so this is the data now how to calculate the swept volume so swept volume is equal to v1 minus v2 so v1 is equal to r v2 so if we observe this then v1 is equal to r into v2 so r v2 minus v2 so if we simplify this r minus 1 v2 and r is equal to 15 so 15 minus 1 14 v2 so we will get here the Vs is equal to 14 V2 and therefore V2 is equal to Vs by 14. So this is the relation we will get in between swept volume and V2. So V2 is known as the clearance volume. Now we will move to the process one to two. Now we have to find out the pressures. So P2 by P1 is equal to V1 by V2 raised to gamma. so this is the relation now v1 by v2 is equal to 15 so v15 raised to 1.4 is equal to 44.31 so how to calculate p2 so p1 is given so p2 is equal to 1 multiplied by 44.31 bar and p2 is equal to p3 because this is the constant pressure process so if we observe we get the pressure at point 2 pressure at point 3 and pressure at point 1 is known now we have to calculate the pressure at point 4 so how to calculate this so again we have relation in between the process 3 to 4 that is p4 by p3 is equal to v3 by v4 raised to gamma 
Now, if we observe the value of V3 and value of V4, both values are unknown. Now, we will use this relation. So, if we observe V3 by V2 is known and V1 by V2 is also known. And if we observe this diagram, V4 is equal to V1. So, instead of V4, we will put here the V1. And if we divide and multiply with V2, then we can use this relation. So, I will divide here V3 by V2 multiplied by V2 by V4. But V4 is equal to V1. So, this is the constant volume process. So, if I put here V1, then V3 by V2, V3 by V2 is equal to 2. And v, V2 by V1, so V1 by V2 is 15. So, V2 by V1 is 1 by 15. So, when we put here the values 2 by 15 raised to 1.4, which is equal to 0 0.059. Now P3 value is known, pressure P3. So P4 is equal to 2.63 bar. We know that work output is equal to mean effective pressure multiplied by swept volume. And how to calculate this mean effective pressure multiplied by swept volume, which is equal to area 1, 2, 3, 4. So, from this diagram, we will calculate this area. So, which is equal to area under the process 2 to 3 plus area under the process 3 to 4 minus area under the process 2 to 1. So, how to calculate area under the process 2 to 3? So, this is the constant pressure process. So, if we observe, this is the horizontal line. So, we will take here this area under the process 2 to 3 is equal to pressure at point 2 multiplied by volume difference. So, if we observe pressure at point 2 and 3 is same. So, we will take P2 multiplied by V3 minus V2 because V3 is greater than V2. So, this is the area under the process 2 to 3. Now, how to calculate area under the process 3 to 4? So, if we observe here is the curve. So, we will take P3 V3 minus P4 V4 divided by gamma minus 1. Now, how to calculate area under the process 2 to 1? So, here pressure P2 is greater. So, we will take here first P2 V2 minus P1 V1 divided by gamma minus 1. And we will transfer this Vs to the right hand side. So, we will make here square bracket and 1 by Vs. Now, if we observe, we know the value of P2, P3, P4 and P1 also. But what about the values of V3, V4 and V1? So, these values are not mentioned in the question. But we have the relation in between these volumes. That is V1 by V2, then V3 by V2, we know the values. Then also we know the relation in between Vs and V2. So, if we multiply and divide with V2 to this equation, then we will get. So, I will multiply here V2 by Vs inside the bracket. So, here multiplied and we will divide at the same time. So, it will become P2 in the bracket V3 by V2 minus 1. So, here V3 by V2 minus 1. So, what is the relation in between V3 by V2? So, it is equal to 2. So, we can say that P2 is 44.31 inside the bracket 2 minus 1 plus. Now, P3, V3 by V2 minus P4, V4 by V2. Now, V4 is equal to V1. So, we can say that here V1 by V2. So, what is the value of V1 by V2 is 15. So, V3 by V2 is 2. So, we will put here 2, we will put here 15. Then, divided by gamma minus 1. So, gamma minus 1 is 1.4 minus 1 is 0 0.4 minus P2. Then, here V2, V2 is getting cancelled. So, P2 minus P1, V1 by V2 divided by gamma minus 1. So, here V1 by V2 is equal to 15. So, we will put the value. And all these pressures P2, P3, P4 and P1 are known. So, we will put the values. Now, we will solve 1 by 1. So, V2 by Vs. So, V2 by Vs, if we observe V2 by Vs is equal to 1 by 14. So, we will put this value. Then, we will put the value and we will first solve this first term. 
So its answer is 44.31. Now we will solve the second term. So its answer is 122.92. And then we will solve the third term. So this is the third term and its answer is 73.27. So we answer is that is the mean effective pressure is equal to 6.71 bar. Now why the unit is bar? Because if we observe all the pressures P1, P2, P3 and P4 we have calculated or we have mentioned in the bar. So same unit we have to mention here.